So coal is a solid fuel. It, it's often converted into gas and liquid, um, which obviously will require uh, energy and cause it to be non as efficient as the solid form. Uh, but we do use coal mostly in the US and in India in the solid form um, in, for several reasons. So I'm gonna go into first the formation of coal and then the major uses of coal. So 300 million years ago in swamps, giant plants died. Normally when plants die, decomposition would occur, but somehow this did not happen and plants for millions of years were uh, buried under dirt. And if you see here in the diagram, you could see the uh, layer of dead plants buried under dirt. And this happened for millions of years. Over time, that uh, dead plant material was subjected to high heat and pressure. And this is how coal formed. Coal forms in stages. The first stage is actually, or I should say not the first stage, the pre-stage of coal, which is called peat, is not really a form of coal. It's the process before the main three stages of coal. And peat, basically all it is is partially decayed plant. So the, that should say plants, not pants, in swamps. So this plant material is starting to decay, but if it doesn't fully decay, it's going to go into that first stage, which is called lignite. So the first stage of coal is lignite. The second stage of coal is bituminous, and you see two um, possible stages there. Sometimes they reference one as subbituminous, and again, that's a typo. There should be an O there. And then you have anthracite, which is the last stage of coal. If you look at this diagram, it describes what we just said in the previous uh, slide. If you look at the stages, you could see that there's uh, solidifying, there's pressure, there's burying as you go from lignite to anthracite. You also see um, uh, compacting and you see pressure and heat through the arrows. So if you notice lignite has a yellow versus anthracite has a red, that's because anthracite actually has the best heat producing uh, potential. So if we're gonna analyze these stages of coal, let's start with peat. Again, it's plant decayed uh, or decaying plant and we do not use it for any form of energy. Then you move on to lignite. There's a lot of lignite on earth and when you burn it, it doesn't really produce a lot of heat. So they consider it a low heat producing type of coal, but it also has low amounts of sulfur. And then you have a bituminous, which is actually uh, very abundant. It's the most abundant in the stages of coal. Uh, it does produce a good amount of heat, uh, better than lignite, not as good as anthracite but it has a lot of sulfur. So the most used form of coal produces the most form of sulfur. Anthracite is not easily accessible. There's less amount of it on earth. It is the highest heat producer. So when it's found, it's gonna give you the most efficient form of uh, production of energy. And it does have low sulfur content. So we mine for coal, um, we do mine through subsurface, but the majority of coal is, or 60% of coal is mined through surface mining and through open pit mining. In order to uh, start this process, you're gonna remove the topsoil or what's called overburden. So it's basically the top layer of land that has to be uh, stripped away. And so that's why kind of the strip mining uh, topic kicks in with the surface mining and open pit in order to get to the coal bed, which is underneath that top layer. And here you see a type of uh, strip mine or open pit mine where um, layers are made and you could see the trucks. Remember that there's blasting involved and drilling and then trucks carry the coal through the mine outside to the surface uh, where then it's gonna go through the, the following process. Um, the main use of coal is to produce electricity and the second main use of coal is in the industry um, mainly for the production of steel. I'm gonna talk about how coal produces electricity. So coal is taken to the plant where it is first uh, crushed or pulverized um, through a process. Once that happens, it goes into a, a, a boiler or a furnace and it's burned. When the coal is burned from a, a nearby river or um, ocean or major body of water, 
water will be added to this furnace. That water will then turn into steam. The steam will spin the turbine. The turbine is attached to a, a, a generator and the generator will send the electric current to your home. So this is the way coal produces electricity. I'm gonna go back to the diagram and start over. If we're gonna mention this in forms of energy, uh, there's a lot of transformations of energy taking place. Remember that energy can't be created or destroyed, only transformed. So you start with coal, which is a form of um, chemical energy, which is a form of potential energy, stored energy. Once it's burned, it's gonna produce heat energy. Because of the water, that heat energy is gonna produce steam, which is a form of mechanical energy, and the spinning of the turbine is a continuation of that mechanical energy. Since it's attached to a generator, an electric current will be sent, so electrical energy will take place, and that electricity will be sent to your home. So the energy transformations are from chemical to heat, to mechanical, to electrical. Chemical being the only form of potential and the other three a form of kinetic energy. Products made from coal, I'm just listing three here. There's a lot of products that are made from coal, but just to get you thinking, medicine can be made from coal, clothing can be made from coal, and soap can be made from coal. There's benefits to using coal. The most, or the, the number one benefit is that Coal is the most abundant of all the fossil fuels. So on Earth, we could find more coal than we can any of the other fossil fuels. Even better is the U.S. has most of it. So we, as a country, have the most of this uh, abundant fossil fuel. It's also cheap. It's a high producer of heat, which is great, as you see now for electricity production, because the more heat, the more... Uh, steam you're going to get and the more production of electrical energy and the outcome and the technology has been around um, since the industrial revolution so it's well developed technology the main disadvantage to coal and then we'll talk about the rest tomorrow is that it is extremely dirty it's considered the dirtiest fossil fuel so always consider advantages and disadvantages comparing coal to petroleum and to natural gas and then to nuclear. So we're, we're kind of comparing to all types of non-renewable. It produces more carbon dioxide and sulfur oxides than any other fossil fuel. So more than petroleum and more than natural gas. And it actually accounts for one fourth of the world's carbon dioxide emissions. So that's, you know, is a greenhouse gas. So we're concerned with greenhouse gas and global warming, sulfur oxides, which is mainly found in coal, will lead to acid rain and smog, so another problem. And they also emit toxic and radioactive chemicals, which we're not gonna pretty much get into until uh, the last unit. 